Welcome to your third video on the installation and setup of Laravel 5.5. In this video, we will be looking at how to actually install Laravel now that our system has been set up. So, I like to have all my project files inside my WW folder, although you can have your Laravel installed and set up anywhere. For me, once my WAM server is running, I'll click on it once. And this WW directory, that is where I like to set up things. So when you click on it, it will pull up this www directory. I've already created this folder. So when I open this folder, this is where I want to install my Laravel. All right. To install Laravel, you hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click on your mouse. So this will open a context menu that has this particular item, which is open command window here. We are trying to pull up a command window here. And uh, we have done that. Now this is where we can do the installation make sure that your system is online and connected to the internet all right because we will need internet for this next step so we scroll down and copy the code the or the command for installing laravel i've pasted it this last word is the name you want to call the folder where laravel will be installed so we're just gonna call it p manager now we'll click enter then you wait this step is supposed to take you about two to five minutes depending on the strength of your internet connection i'm gonna pause this video once this step is complete i'll restart it and then we'll look at our newly installed laravel so um, the installation has completed as you can see and uh, this took about three to five minutes for mine to complete depending on uh, my the speed of my internet connection if you look at the the last two lines you'll see that it's saying that we've made a reference to non-existent scripts php artisan package discover php artisan key generate um, the reason is that we've not created one file we've not renamed the file we should rename so what we'll do is to open this folder navigate into the new um, app, app that we've just created and then uh, do some configurations so to open this folder from windows i'll just do start then a period then i hit enter then it opens this folder as you can see so if we open p manager we'll see that an app has been downloaded and created for us so the first thing we do is to rename this to a dot n so if i click on it once and click on it again it will open up for renaming i'll remove the example and leave it like this uh, well i can't rename it like this i think i should just rename it from my text editor so if at this moment you don't have an ide which i believe you should uh, you should better download one so i'm going to use um, open with vs code so i'll right click at the empty space and open it with vs code so i want to re rename this file using uh, my vs code editor so it's opening right now right now it's open so this is the file we want to rename we right click and then we rename and in the renaming there is just one thing we need to remove hit enter as you can see it has been renamed now if we open it we see that um, it basically contains the default configurations for our, our laravel application as we can see just default configurations with empty uh, keys so we'll get back and fix this but if you look up here you'll see that the first thing is that the key is missing your app key is missing and if we look here we'll see um that this particular command is trying to generate an app key but because the file was not named properly it ran into an error so what we'll do is to navigate into this folder so i'll just see the p manager and then we we'll hit enter um, because uh if you look at what we have you see that we have a p manager folder then we have another p manager folder that's why i did this navigation so i'm right inside here right now so what we can now do is to run this um codes that refuse to run so the first one i'm going to run is php artisan key generate and hit enter and then uh, it will generate a unique key for us because every app as you can see every app has a unique key so it has set it if we look at our m file right now we'll see that this has been set as you can see it has set a new key for us now the next thing we're going to do is to run this other code 
to discover packages. So PHP artisan package discover. Then of course, make sure you have your internet connectivity while you're doing all these things. So it has uh, discovered uh, three package for us, two packages for us. Now we're good to go. Um, this is a configuration and um, obviously the next thing we need to do is to configure our MySQL table. As you can see, um, we are building a project management application. So I'm just going to name my database pmanager. I've not created the database, but I have to create it. So pmanager, I think um, at this point we'll have to stop then continue in the next video where we will create our database settings and um, complete this uh, Laravel setup. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. If you've not subscribed to my channel right now, this is the moment to subscribe. So it's on youtube.com slash c slash All right. So thank you very much. See you in the next video.